Hey guys, this is Kyle Keo with a new training video. Um, this is uh, training that took place over the last four or five days. Uh, some bench sessions, some squat sessions. I have a deadlift session coming up tomorrow, so that's not on here, but I got a bunch of other stuff from my most recent week of training. Um, I am getting closer to the end of the three times a week frequency for bench and for squat, but I'm not quite there yet. I'm going to run it for as long as I feel it's sustainable because I do certainly feel like the extra frequency is helping me out considerably um, in developing for this training cycle. So I'm not quite there yet, but I am getting closer because I have been running it for about the last six weeks. Uh, work capacity is up. Uh, a lot I have noticed I, I feel a lot better I'm able to sustain work much better uh, that's 275 did a few sets of 10 with it a um, couple of sets of 10 and then I ended up doing a couple sets of 9 I ended up dropping the reps down a little bit just because I, I didn't really want to grind out any reps on that particular day um, this is from a high bar session that I did the following day did 335 for a couple of sets of 10 then decided I'd start pushing the exertion up just a little bit did 355 for 10 and then finished 375 for 10. Um, in hindsight, I would have kept it around 355. That was the right number. 375 was a little too high. Not that the reps themselves were all that difficult, but I started breaking the last uh, three or four reps. You'll see me start to come forward. Um, uh, that's not something that I'm looking to ever have high happen on my high bar squats I really don't ever push them to that high an exertion level just because the most important for me is maintaining an upright position the entire time really utilizing my quads and developing that and uh, if I allow a certain percentage of those reps to become uh, reps in which I'm losing positioning I'm basically losing the the actual carryover of the of the exercise itself so um, should have been better off just staying a little bit lower but uh adjusted up one more time and ended up in hindsight not being necessarily the best decision so um went back in after that bench session i was starting to deal with a little bit of tendonitis i won't show all the sets this is just one of my sets um done with a slingshot reduced back down to 225 put the slingshot on made a hundred bar lifts for the session my goal ended up doing it in four sets average 25 reps per set um, everything's very easy just treated as as glorified speed work um, and then I finished off with today's session which was 405 for three sets of 10 which is a lot uh, depth was high on the first set I uh, got better during the first set and then it was something that I worked on for the second two sets just based on how it felt in relation to previous sessions um, the second two sets were probably mostly high as well but at least right around borderline um, first set the first few reps were just not good and um, part of that was just uh, me not really committing to it the way that I needed to um, part of it was I decided for the session to squat with a 45 pound bar instead of the 55 pound bar that I'll be using at the meet that's normally what I train with just so that I'm I'm ready for those conditions and uh, it was just really throwing my balance off on some of these reps felt like I was laterally I was losing my balance a lot um, which was really weird but it, it does happen for me from time to time with how narrow I squat and uh, I just felt like I was shifting my balance either forward or backwards and um, just not really able to find the groove like I wanted to. With all that said, uh, my best set of 10 was 440. Uh, felt like I could have just about matched that. On this session, 405 for three sets of 10 is definitely a total volume PR. It was a lot of work, um, but I'm really happy with overall with how it went because um, that's a big step up for me in terms of my total volume be interesting to see on my squat how the next uh, eight weeks develop. i um, going to have to pay really close attention to my depth, which is always what I say, I think, over every training cycle, because it's always an issue that I need to pay close attention to. Um, the last meet that I did, the depth was pretty good. Uh, Raw Unity, the meet that I did at the beginning of the year, not so much. So it's something that I just got to continue to focus on, and uh, I really want to go into this meet and have it not be a question mark. But um, that'll be the big goal over the next eight weeks on the squat. Squat itself is feeling really strong. 
Um, I expect to develop a lot in it. Um, I expect for my max to go way up over the last eight weeks. We will see just how far that is. Um, I think a reasonable goal for myself, provided I do the things that I need to in competition and get down and hit depth instead of squatting high, which is what I seem to do half the time nowadays. Um, 550 to 600, somewhere in that range, that would be really good, 165. So anyway, keep checking in, more videos for you soon.